Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I finally had a chance to play with the Ornates palette from Colourpop. Uh, previously, I did a review on the Baroque palette and this is like the opposite spectrum of the color scheme. This is definitely leans towards cooler tones with gunmetal grays and it's just a gorgeous um, bluish tone color that you can create so many endless smoky eye looks with this. This one on the outer packaging itself, the graphics on these palettes are just gorgeous by the way. Um, but you can tell that this is a very warm palette because of the uh, red exterior and inside. It pretty much follows the same color scheme. It definitely leans towards the reddish, um, very yellowish kind of undertones you can also create great smoky eye looks with this as well if you guys love warm tone eyeshadows this might be for you it's a gorgeous palette nonetheless and i had a fun time creating this look so let's just go over the process of my eye makeup look first and then i'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions at the end of this video the first shade that I decided to place down is this mustardy shade called Siren. This is described as a matte golden mustard and this is a really interesting shade. So this color applied on my eyelids pretty evenly, pretty smoothly there's not much fallout so this mustard shade gave me no fuss at all it just blends out so um, nicely and evenly on my eyelids it's just a great transition color so for my outer crease corner i decided to go in with this shade called tipsy and this is described as a matte red brown So this matte brown shade definitely helped smoke out my eye makeup look a lot more and I absolutely enjoy this shade. For my lid color, I decided to go in with Rival, this very deep red shade here. So this color is described as matte rusted red and I think this color is very very unique. So that deep burgundy shade is what I have all over my lids and then I decided to top it off with the shade called Fever and Fever is definitely a very very gorgeous shade. It is described as a metallic coppery red with hot pink and gold pinpoints um, so I'll swatch that for you guys. So Fever is what I have on top of Rival and I absolutely love this shade. Very gorgeous metallic color um, and it doesn't pull too much of a red tone. It's like a, a dark bronze. It's like a reddish bronze if that makes sense. Um, but this is a very very gorgeous color. Again there's no fallout or anything like that with any of these shades. Um, I have no uh, fuss with any of these shades <laughs> at all, which I am surprised with. In the corner, I decided to go in with this very light shade. This only light shade within this palette. This is called Gilded and definitely pulls a very, very yellow gold um, on the inner tear duct. So Gilded is what I use for my inner corners and my brow bow highlight 
um, this is described as a metallic creamy orange with a gold flip so I I'm definitely seeing the orange in it now it is a very very unique shade and I don't have any um, highlight in shades like this <laughs> at least I don't think but that's a uh, really pretty shade as well and then for my lower lash line for the outer corner I started to go back in with tipsy so I'm probably gonna butcher this pronunciation but I started to go in with the bohemian on the center of my lower lash line and this is described as a metallic copper orange with a gold flip So these are all of the colors that I have decided to use on my lids today and I am happy with all of the formulation of each one of these shades. I think that they perform amazing on my eyelids today. I have no fuss with the uh, blendability or um, have any sort of problems with the fallout, anything like that. It just glides on amazing and the colors, I think they blend really nicely together and I was able to create a very simple look using this palette. So I had a lot of fun using this palette. I like that there's no pressed glitters in this one. I think there's no pressed glitters in the Baroque one as well. So um, that's a big plus for both of these palettes. I know that the Grand Door one have like one pressed glitter or something like that. Um, but yeah but yeah i enjoy playing with both of these palettes so far i cannot wait to use the grand tour palette next i hope you guys enjoy this makeup review uh slash a bit of a demo on the ornate palette today i hope to see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for leaving comments um i really appreciate it take care everyone i'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.